Hey everybody, it's me, Brother Wild Bill. Welcome to Life Inside Hell. I'm doing relationship advice for him and relationship advice for her today. We're going to talk about three points for the boys and three points for the girls. And I think it's good for both the boys and the girls to listen to each other's points because when we share ideas like that, when we share truths like that, we can find out truths about him, we can find out truths about her. So we can find out truths for ourselves and then truths for our spouse or mate or boyfriend, girlfriend or, or potential significant other. Um, I am in prison, but I've had an enormous amount of successful and unsuccessful relationships with women. I've been inside the vagina of lots of women and, and lots of women have been inside my mind and left their mark on my soul. So I know what it takes to make a successful relationship and I know what an unsuccessful one is like as well. So let's let's take just a moment and three points. The first point, we're going to go with the boys first. Relationship advice for him. First, focus on you. If you focus on a woman and you focus on trying to like make her life a wonderful thing, she's going to get really sick of your ass quickly. Women, um, we need to go back, and this is, this is for both the boys and the girls. Listen to this story. We need to know who we are. Who are we? 10,000 years ago, we were living in caves. The man that got to reproduce with the woman was the one who was the strongest, who could go out and hunt and fish, who could protect uh, the, the clan against other clans who would like to come in and invade. A warrior, a warrior hunter, that was who the, the, the alpha male was. That hasn't changed. Uh, we're all walking around with smartphones saying that a, a boy that has a PP can now be a girl. Stupid bullshit like that. But our brains haven't changed at all in 10,000 years. 10,000 years in evolutionary terms is like 15 minutes. So we're still those alpha males and beta males walking around. What you want to be is a, an alpha male. You want to focus on your abilities, your earning ability, your physical, the way that you look. The the You can't fake it with a woman. If you try to fake shit with a woman, man you're going to lose because women have this innate ability to know what's true and what isn't true. They really do. And I think that comes from, from being dominated by men for so long, but women know, I mean, like for the eons behind us, but women know instinctively what's right and what's wrong. And they have a choice. They don't have to be with you. And so what you want to do is to be a quality man. You can't fake it. You can't bullshit your way through it. You need to focus on yourself and focus on your goals, focus on your physical fitness, focus on... You don't have to be the fittest man in the world. You don't have to be the most handsome either, but you've got to be working at it. All right, another uh, there's number, point, point number two is she ain't your mother. The only person, the only woman on earth that's going to love you in, unconditionally is, is your, your mother. She ain't your mother, and she ain't gonna feel like that, and she ain't gonna she ain't gonna fall in love with you, and no matter what you do, everything's gonna be okay. That's that doesn't happen in the fucking movies. It happens, but in real life, it doesn't happen. So you need to be working on yourself constantly, bettering yourself constantly, trying to move up the ladder of success, whatever that is for you. Um, that could be lots of different things, but you need to you need to have some sort of an ability. If you have some sort of an ability, women will come to you. I mean, like I don't care the the guy who. The guy who's the greatest piano player in the world probably gets laid every 15 minutes, you know, and that's that's not something that's, that's thought of as overly manly, but, I mean, he's really good at something. So be really good at something. Work on yourself. She's not your mother. She's not going to love you unconditionally. Nobody is. No woman on earth is going to love any man unconditionally. And the last one I'll say is don't chase. There is the law of attraction. If you chase after a woman, you will push her away. Let her come to you. There are going to be times in your relationship when she pulls away. You need to pull away too. When she pulls away, you pull away too. And that seems like the wrong thing to do. It seems like we should go after it and chase it. That's not the right thing to do. That, that's a good way to, to, to push her away. When she, when she goes quiet, she's not texting you, don't text her. When she goes quiet, when she pulls away, you pull away too. And wait, and she'll come back to you. Don't worry, she will. But women have this innate ability. They don't even know they're doing it. They don't even know they're doing it, but they'll test you. And you'll fail the test if you go chasing after them. You know, I mean, you, you're, she might be your drug. Don't let her become your drug. Don't. She's my drug. I need her. Fuck, you're fucked. You're a woman. Cut off your dick, man, because now you're a woman. You need to be strong. You need to wait. She'll come back to you. Don't chase a woman ever. All right. Now, that's all the information I, that, that we're giving to the boys today. Now, we're moving on to the ladies. All right, ladies. We'll go back to the same thing again. Remember... 
10,000 years ago, we were living in caves, and the alpha female got to breed with the alpha male. The, the best looking, most, my, most, the one that had them big ass wide hips. Um, these are the, you know, that was in, not necessarily the most submissive woman either. I wouldn't, I would not advise you to be a terribly submissive woman, maybe sexually, and only to a man, only, only to, you should only be submissive to a man who, who deserves it. Uh, first of all, no chasing. Same thing I told the guys just, that I finished with with the guys I'm starting with with y'all. Don't chase a man. You you have the vagina. Let him come to you. Don't chase him. Let him come to you. Let him prove that he's a quality man. Second of all, uh, selection, on, selection on a man is everything. Listen to me, girls. If your man don't have a job, and, and I don't mean a job. Let's don't even say that. Let's don't use that word. If your man doesn't have a career or his own business, he's not a quality man. Now, what is a career? Selling fucking firecrackers at the flea market's not a fucking career. Did you hear me? Um, Being a bouncer at a strip club is not a fucking career. A career is a man who's got a decent job that's going somewhere, that has a retirement, that he's put time and effort into, or uh, his own business. Uh, He's got his own plumbing business. He's got his own landscaping business. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's, you know, somebody of importance. Now, why? Why? Are you a gold digger? No. You're not asking him for money. But if he has a career or his own... um, his own business that shows a level of commitment if he can commit to that and he can commit to you you want a man that can commit to you a man that's gonna that, that has goals that's going somewhere he didn't just want to fuck you all of us want to fuck you all men want to fuck all women you know you know what i'm saying so so that's nothing and just sexual attraction is not a reason to 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 get with anybody ever especially especially as a woman as a man as well but especially that's even more important with a woman you're carrying the chalice you're the one that can get knocked up so just because you're sexually attracted to a man's not a reason to to get with him. Selection is everything. And number three, project relationships never fucking work, baby girl. Never. You've got with Billy Bob, he's all fucked up. He's had a terrible childhood. Somebody's left him. The wife has left him. He's a project relationship. He's fucking garbage. Throw that motherfucker away. Projects never, ever work out the way you want them to. Because if he was a quality man, he wouldn't be a fucking project to start with. Did you hear me? Let me repeat that one time so you'll understand, Sugar Booger. Project relationships don't work. If you find a quality man, then, 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 you know, that's your man. But if you find a man that's all, but he's 90% there, but he's just missing something, leave that motherfucker alone because he's not ever going to be for you. You can't fix a man. You can't fix a man. No fucking project relationships. All right, so these, that's all we're going to do for today. Next time, next, next time I do one of these relationship advice things, we'll talk about how to find a quality woman for a man and how to find a quality man for a woman. How, what should we be doing? How should we get a hold of, of how should we find this special person if you're, that's if you're not already in a relationship. If you're already in a relationship, don't go looking for another one. Fuck that. You got to end a relationship before you can look for another one. We make that mistake a lot. We 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 jump in the bed with somebody and then like right before our other relationship is finished. Don't do that shit. That's not ever going to work either. And so you need you need to be alone when you find the person that's right for you. Hey, I love you guys. Thank you guys for listening to this uh, to this um, relationship advice. I want you to comment and tell me what you think of it. Tell me what you think about the advice that's been given here. It's good advice whether you like it or not. It's good, but I want you to tell me what you think about it. Uh, if you'd like to hear more on this segment of relationship advice from Wild Bill, then then let me know, and I'll do more more about the, these sort of things. If you want to know more about me, there's a Wikipedia link there, and there's a book I wrote called Long Live the King Wild Bill. I'm the king of hell, baby. Uh, th- those two links are in the description box below. The 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 book is available in ebook and and uh, in print, in paperback. Also, if you want to contact me directly, I also do counseling. I do relationship counseling. I do life coaching as well, which is like my favorite thing in the world to do. I haven't been doing a lot of it lately, but I'm getting back into it. Uh, if you, it, it just my internet here is really shitty. If you need to contact me directly for any reason at all, you'd like to do an interview, anything like that, um, my social media is there, Facebook and Instagram, so you can do that. Thanks, guys, for listening. God bless each and every one of you. I love you, and Jesus Christ loves you, too.